This is part two of the assembly of our 20-foot dome on the island of Yap in Micronesia. You can see that we've got shade covering over a big chunk of the area. You know, as you're assembling it, you don't want to get too hot and you don't want your blocks to dry out too fast either. The, the cement needs to cure. It takes a lot of time to get up to this level, days and days and days, because you're only able to go 30 or 40 blocks at a time. You have to make lots and lots of more blocks. As you're going up, you can keep, add uh, the, the wrap material to the outside to give it that extra strength. I used local materials to make the arch and assembled that. It is fun putting the blocks on, using that center arm there to help you. And you have to keep making blocks every day, make more blocks every day, make more blocks that you're going to use. Our aircrete uh, stuff from Dome Gear worked just fine. We made blocks, we cut blocks every day, and we uh, assembled blocks every day. And we just kept going and going and going. It's a fun project and we enjoyed it very much. Don't forget, you have to make lots and lots of blocks. But our aircrete making process all still here. But my gosh, making aircrete sure is a uh, finicky, it's not, like con it's not like epoxy where you just mix it and one way and it's the same amounts every time. This thing, this stuff is really a challenge, really a challenge. Our dome is getting up higher now. We're up uh, five rows, going up on a six row in the back side, as you can see. The next challenge we have is the uh, tropical sun. It is just intense here in the island of Yap. And uh, we have a 20 foot dome, diameter dome here, and it's a huge area. We just, uh, it's, it's a challenge to get it all shaded to be able to work on. Uh, you can see here we're getting up kind of high and we're starting to have to use some counterweights as we uh, get up higher and higher uh, laying these aircrete blocks. But it's, it's doing good so far as we lay the blocks uh, along. We use extra aircrete, any that's left over. Uh, I've been filling in and filling in around the outside of the dome because uh, in preparation for the uh, material that I'm putting on the outside, uh, the full length uh, material to give it strength. So, doing that. Okay, we're inside the dome. It's getting up higher as we go along. The inside of our dome is looking real nice. Uh, we're using the face of the block that was down on the plastic when it was made. So the block, this part of the block is real nice and smooth. So we should be able to smoothen out all these edges and um, uh, should get a real nice interior. It's already starting to look, look pretty nice. But uh, the inside of a 20 foot diameter aircrete dome home. Uh, yeah, there's water in the floor. We got a heavy rain today. Uh, and uh, it'll, it'll dry out and we'll, uh, the floor needs leveling and uh, tile on it anyway in the future, so no, no problems there. But uh, you can see the thickness of our block, about the width of a 2x4 and um, a 20 foot dome is starting to go up. 